This has to be the smartest, best Android Wear watch that you can buy right now. What's up everybody, this is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the Mobvoid TicWatch Pro 6 Ultra GPS. Woo boy, that is a name. Big shout out to Mobvoy for sending over this smartwatch for me to check out. This video is not sponsored by them, but they did send me the watch to check out. They are seeing this video for the very first time, just like the rest of you, and didn't have any creative license over the content. Therefore, just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing the specs, the display, the finish, the look, the battery life, the Android Wear experience, the price point, and if I would recommend this watch. So let's just go ahead and get started. This Ultra Watch is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 4100 chip and comes in at a tidy 41 grams. Equipped with one gig of RAM and eight gigs of storage, this is a beastly device that comes with some of the latest and greatest equipment that's including GPS within the watch for tracking. This does come with Bluetooth 5.0, a speaker, a microphone, NFC, and even a barometer for all the times that you're up in the mountains. Are you doing a lot of mountain climbing? Mobvoy also says that this watch is IP68, pool swim suitable, and military standard 810G, which means it can withstand many of the everyday bumps and bruises you could expect to have. Gym workouts and even rugged outdoor workouts like within the mountains. There's There was a lot of mountains on their website. On Mobvoy's site, they really emphasize the fact that this device can be taken outdoors and used to its fullest potential out there. However, I'm what you would call a desk jockey. So the mileage may vary considering there's a very limited amount of mountains in Ohio and I'm close to approximately zero of them. I will say that the vibration motor on this thing is really, really good. I didn't feel like I was missing any of the notifications when the haptics were on when the watch was on. I saw some reports on Amazon that you could hear the vibrations, so that made me a little bit nervous. And in a quiet room, you can definitely hear it, but when I was moving around the house, I just felt the haptics were more on the watch, better than any other smartwatch that I've ever previously owned. And I've had several Android Wear watches before. My latest was a Fossil Gen 5e, so yeah, needless to say, the haptics on this are a lot better. The watch comes with the ability to track all your vitals with real-time 24-hour heart rhythm, on-demand fatigue and energy levels, and which I gotta tell you, that's a cool little feature. However, when you have all of the stuff on, the battery life is definitely impacted, but not in a tremendous amount, and more on that in a little bit. Now let's talk about the display. Mobvoi's dual display technology layers a low power screen on top of a really beautiful AMOLED display, which is where you can get some really impressive battery life numbers, and more on that, like I mentioned, here in a little bit. The 1.4 inch display features damage resistant Gorilla Glass, which delivers enhanced sunlight readability and outstanding resistance to scratches, bumps, and drops from everyday use. Or again, as a desk jockey, bumping against your coffee or your Red Bull can on your desk. You can also customize the backlight color palette with up to 18 different colors to make the screen comfortable and read under any of the harshest conditions, especially in the dark. Look, the fact that I could make the backlight color on the essential mode red was super dope to me. I'm a pretty simple man. I really like red. Me likey red, so I'm gonna get some red colors on my watch anytime I possibly can. The watch is made of stainless steel and some nylon fiber to make it look premium while keeping some of the heft weight off of your wrist. I really like the choices that Mobboy has made here when it comes to what the watch is made of. I like the look of the big chonky face, but sometimes the big chonky faces come at the price of the weight of the watch meaning you're gonna know that you have a really heavy watch on. Because of these materials chosen by Mobvoi, you get all the benefits of a smartwatch with some of the limited heft, so you get a big chonky watch face without a lot of chonky weight with it. The watch band that comes with it is made up of something that they call premium fluoro rubber, which is honestly just durable and strong. I can say it's actually really comfortable as well. 
I found that the rubber watch band to be perfect for this particular watch. However, if you don't like the watch band, the watch band comes in the standard 22 millimeter strap and you can hit up any type of shop or any type of fancy bands that you want. You can go to Amazon or Etsy or anything like that and you can purchase 22 millimeter bands that's a quick lock that's gonna immediately work with this watch. Personally, I'm gonna rock with these straps for a while because they're really, really soft for me. Now we come to kind of the piece de resistance as it comes to this watch is the fact that it comes with a 577 milliamp hour battery, which doesn't sound like a lot, but Mob Voice says that there are two different settings you can have on the battery life. Smart mode, which is obviously a smart watch, so smart mode is all of the smart watch features that comes with it, and the essential mode. With smart mode, you get exactly what you would be purchasing this device for, and you can expect of upwards of 70 72 hours of battery life, so three days worth of battery life. However, while that is impressive, if you go into essential mode, which basically kills off all of the smartwatch functionality, you could get 45 days of battery life because you're making it just like a regular old watch when you're in essential mode. I can't say that I've tried essential mode, but since I've gotten the reported three days worth of battery life, as mentioned before, in the smart mode, I don't see why you couldn't expect to get 45 days worth in essential mode. Honestly, at the the time of this recording, I haven't even had the watch long enough to kill it if it were only in essential mode. If you do manage to get the battery life to drain, charging the watch takes about an hour and a half to get it all the way back from zero to full. And I have to say, from a battery life perspective, I was able to get three days. As a matter of fact, at the time of this recording, I have not charged this watch since the previous day at 5.45 in the morning. And I have, at the time of this recording, this particular watch has 52% battery life. All notifications, all smartwatch, 24 hours on with the heart rate monitor and then the, the skill fatigue and stress fatigue and all that. I have all those settings on and I'm only halfway done with my battery life. And it's been about a day and a half. So three days, absolutely perfect when it comes to this and it charges up so, so fast. Let's talk about Android Wear and the whole UI experience. The Android Wear 2.0 is still on the watch, which is not honestly Mob Boy's fault because they haven't been able to load Android Wear 3.0. Honestly, that's entirely Google's fault. My guess it has something to do with Samsung coming back in from an Android Wear perspective. That's just speculation. My friend Juan also said something very similar to that. So yeah, I'm gonna guess that that's probably something related to Samsung, which is why we don't have Wear 3.0 on this Mob Boy watch. However, with Android Wear 2.0, and that one gigabyte of RAM in the watch, you're getting a really robust experience from this particular watch. One thing that I really liked, and I mentioned it before, was the stress-related data within the watch itself. Based on a whole bunch of different sensors on the watch, you can get a quote-unquote stress-related score to see how your day is going. Mob Boy says the mental fatigue measurements are based on your heart rate variability or the measurements and analysis of time between the beats. It should come as no shock, but I showed high stress or moderately high stress from the minute that I put this watch on, which means I am incredibly high strung at all hours of the day. There are so many different levels of tracking your workouts with this particular watch. You should have no shortage of finding one that meets your needs in terms of finding an app because they come pre-installed with the Mob Boy apps as well as Google Fit and a litany of others that you can get in the Google Play Store. I basically need the app to measure my steps. No crazy workouts over here, but honestly, does that come as any surprise at all if you watch this particular channel? Just look at the way that I look. I found the tracking of my steps to be fairly accurate in comparison to previous smart watches, but I don't have an Apple watch or a Garmin watch to compare it against, so I'm going to assume that this is fairly accurate because I don't actually have a pedometer to measure it again. Overall, I really like the experience of the watch itself. It's probably the best Android Wear watch that I've ever experienced to date. I had a Fossil Gen 5e watch that I absolutely loved, but the battery on this Mob Boy watch far, far exceeds the battery life on the Fossil, and I have way more things turned on when it comes to the Mob Boy watch. Now one of the downsides, this watch is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. It comes in at $299. However, it's cheaper than an Apple watch, and it's probably one of, if not the best Android Wear watch experience out there. However, because of the fact that Google hasn't allowed this watch to update to Android Wear 3.0, it does tend to hold it back just a little bit. And honestly, if you're already within the Mob Boy family, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense for you to upgrade, especially if you already have the Pro 3 from last year. Additionally, while this does work on iOS, I couldn't possibly recommend it over an Apple Watch simply because of the native functionality that you already get with the Apple Watch 
working with Apple. However, if you're not one of those cases from above, I can happily recommend this watch for sure. It has definitely become my favorite watch from an Android Wear perspective that I've ever owned to this very day. Well, that's it, that's all I have. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we will see you next time.